Hey guys, I wanted to do something a little bit different today and that is to talk about some affirmations that a lot of us can really use sometimes. I know for myself that when I wake up in the mornings, there's many days where I wish I could have someone to listen to that can speak some affirmations into my mind in order to set the tone for my day and Sadly enough, I don't really find many people out there nowadays who make content like this. I can think about maybe two people in mind that I kind of listen to on repeat, but nothing in specific when it comes to autism or neurodivergency. And so I thought it would be nice for me to begin to make these shorter affirmation videos so that you guys can get your day started right or end your day on the right note. I am in the works right now creating memberships for you guys. When I'm thinking about the things that I would like to offer for those who are paying a monthly fee for extra content, it is videos like this where I want to create extra affirmation videos, extra videos giving advice, simple content that can make a really big difference for those who are seeking a sense of comfort and knowledge. If this video speaks to you, please stay tuned for when I begin introducing my memberships to my channel. I hope that whatever I do decide to offer to you guys, it is something that is not only affordable, but something that can make a big difference for you guys. So yeah. For today's affirmation video, I wanted to remind you guys and also, you know, reminding myself to not be afraid to be as you are. And I feel like this concept is very, very important for autistic people or neurodivergent people to keep in mind because I think a lot of us have become so accustomed to hiding underneath so many of these layers that we have accumulated over our lifetime. And it could be a very daunting task to begin to uncover those layers and try to peek yourself out of it every once in a while. But I do think it's possible. I do think it is possible to begin to dig yourself out of those layers and begin to show up in your life as authentically as you can to actually learn what it means to show up in your life. And what do I mean when I say that? I want all of you guys to maybe close your eyes or maybe just stop for a moment and think to yourself how many people in your life do you think actually knows you and actually knows every single part of you i'm sure a lot of you will come up with a blank and realize that there's not many people in your life that knows every part of you i want to be completely realistic and open i know how that feels and i know how sad that can be and how lonely that can be right some people might think it's scary, but the truth of the matter is, is that it's actually not for us. You know, hiding yourself, hiding underneath those layers and those masks is actually what makes us feel safe. That is why we end up doing it. But now let's think about what I just said. Is it possible for us to feel safe and to feel like we can be our authentic self? I think it's possible. I think it's possible, I think it's hard to do, but I think it's worth it. And I think we could figure it out together. And I think we could begin integrating that. And I think we deserve to do that because it could be very tiring and very lonely to constantly hide yourself from the world, the people around you. And sometimes hide yourself from yourself. It could be tiring to feel numb on a day-to-day -day level. It could feel tiring to feel so disconnected from yourself. It makes it that much more confusing. So let's begin to really open ourselves back up to ourselves. Let's allow ourselves to return back to who we actually are. Let's give ourselves the permission to come out and show up in our lives however we want to and however it feels right to us. I know it could be very scary to think about that because when you're a neurodivergent person, when you're an autistic person, 
The world doesn't seem to understand you in many cases. There's many moments in your life where you could have not expected to be shunned or to be criticized or targeted, but you were. And it was those moments that really shoved you back into your shell. Although I think it's important to recognize what put you in that shell in the first place, I also think we could bring some balance into that and realize that we are not in the same place anymore. I know with autism, it's hard to conceptualize that sometimes because we really keep tabs of everything, every single detail, every single memory, we hold it on to us. That's just how we're programmed. It's hard to conceptualize that things can be different. It's easier for us to recognize the patterns and get used to it and learn how to accommodate to it, learn how to expect and predict things because of those patterns. And I think this is a really good reminder for us autistic human beings to know that life is not always what it seems. We cannot always predict every single thing there comes a point where trying to predict and trying to keep tabs and trying to hold on to these memories and things that has happened to us is at a detriment to our own mental health and physical health. We, to a certain extent, stunt ourselves from experiencing anything otherwise. So life is honestly all about finding that balance of doing what it takes to keep yourself safe, but also being open to other people and the world to prove you wrong in the best of ways. That there are good people, that there are good things that can happen to you, that you can be yourself, that you can be comfortable. Yes, there's probably many times where the world proved you otherwise in the worst of ways, but allow the world to prove you right in the best of ways. I wanna to introduce to you guys a word that I had come across, I'd say seven years ago or so, and this word really changed my life. And I'm hoping that by introducing this word to you guys, it could change your life as well. And that word is esoteric. Esoteric is an adjective, most commonly means obscure and only understood or intended to be understood by a small number of people with special and perhaps secret knowledge. So the reason why this word made such a big impact on me is because I had never found a word to describe my existence as much as this word describes my existence. I feel like this word really helped me bring more comfort into who I was and it helped me begin the journey of becoming okay with who I am. Of course, you know, that journey in itself took many years but this word was kind of like the catalyst to that journey because it kind of showed me that it was possible to be that person that was not understood by everyone, but could be understood by a few numbers of people. And it showed me that it was not only possible, but okay, because I read that definition to myself all those years ago and I thought to myself, you know what? I'm okay with not everyone understanding me. I'm okay with not everyone accepting me because the truth of the matter is the few people in my life, in the past, in that moment, and in the future, the few people that did understand me really truly understood me on a deep level and that felt really great, which is kind of the whole point of today's affirmation, not being afraid to be as you are. And I say as because it's not just who you are, it's like your state of being, how you inhabit your body and your life. It encompasses all of that. The thing is, when we hide ourselves underneath all of those layers, we not only take away our chances to live up to our potential, but we also close off the chances for those to really love and accept us for who we are. We close ourselves off to the chances of attracting and meeting like-minded people. When you are constantly stepping up to other people's plates, when you are constantly accommodating all these different people in all of these different ways, you are not giving either of you the chance to witness you for all you are. The worst that can happen when you show up as yourself is the people who don't understand you and don't care to, they will fall away from your life. 
which is not even a bad thing if you think about it. But at its best, when you show up as you are, you can begin to attract even just that one person or a group of people or a few people to you that actually appreciate you for who you are, see you for who you are and are willing to share memories and experiences with you. And that is so beautiful. That is so worth it, right? It is worth it to take that step and take that leap to overcome that fear of finally coming out from underneath those layers. I think it's worth it and I know it's worth it because the few people I do have in my life, I can really honestly say sees me for who I am and makes me feel so loved. I would much rather have that than just be in a room full of people feeling extremely alone. I just wanted to end today's affirmation with a food for thought and pose a question back to you guys. Do you guys think you are putting up with life or are you here to participate in your life? Because you should not have to force yourself to put up with life. You are here and you have every right to encompass your life how you want to, where you want to, with who you want to, and be a participant. You have a lot more power than you think you do. You can make use of it in more ways than you think you can. So start that journey, give yourself a chance. One little thing you could do today to start yourself off with stepping more into yourself is simply checking in and seeing how you feel. And ask yourself, based off of how I feel, what do I wanna do? All right, you guys, thank you for connecting with me on today's episode. I will see you on next week's video. Much love. Bye, guys.